this is your 2018 blessing upon you because we are closing off the year 2017. Every situation, every circumstance, everything you've known about yourself, let it go. So right now, let's just start with a prayer. Lord God, I thank you for this time together with my YouTube family, with YouTube subscribers, Facebook fans, and friends and loved ones. I ask that you would bless them as we enter into this new season. And 2018, Lord, I can tell is truly a new beginning. It truly, this is prophetic. I, I haven't shared with everyone, but I am writing a book of a prophecy that, a vision prophecy that I experienced in uh, fall of 2014. And there are different timelines that occur in this prophecy. And 2018 is the beginning of a 10 year timeline. And I'm not gonna get into what it means, but this is exciting. And I'm telling you that in this season of 10 years, the word of God is so important. The sword of the spirit. It is literally going to be the most important weapon you can have in your arsenal. Read the word, make it a, a declaration unto your life, a new year's resolution, but a lasting resolution that you will read the word of God and ask God whether you understand it or not, or even if you do, fabulous, but ask God that he would impart the information, what he desires for us to know as we enter this new season. 2017 is the end of a lifetime, literally from birth until now. Let that old man pass away. Let it go. We talk about dying unto self, taking up our cross, crucifying the flesh, but it's unto resurrection. It is that God is going to give us something greater as we seek after him. His riches and His kingdom become our inheritance. And everything we've known, the identity that was put upon you by loved ones, by those that didn't love you, the identity that we've been lied to about, who we thought we were, all of it, that we would literally give it over to God and say, God, I'm ready for the identity of who I truly am in Christ. This is a season and a time of sanctification as we go into 2018. Whether for you that means praying, moments of fasting, whether it means fellowshipping with the body of Christ, whatever it means to you. There's things God has been speaking to you about, things that he's wanted to do in your life, things that he's asked of you, he's recommended to you, things he wants you to let go of, addictions, uh, things that are numbing you, things that are destroying you mindsets, patterns, habits, ways of being, ways that we abuse ourselves, ways that we allow others to abuse us, any of these things, we must give them over to God that he would deal with it, that he would destroy all things of the enemy, close all doors of the enemy. And we must pray this as we pray for 2018, that we would say, Lord God, I give you my life. I submit to you. Lord God, I surrender all I've known and all I've desired for what you have for me. And I have faith, Lord God. I trust you. I trust that you, I know that you, and I declare that you go before me. You are my rear guard. Holy Spirit, that you would direct my path, that you would literally shed light, be a lamp unto my feet. Lord God, as I read your word and you instruct me in the ways that I should go, every bad thought I have of those in the body of Christ, every bad thought I have of anyone, that Lord God, I give it to you, that you would do with it as you may. And I trust you, Lord, that there's a reason I am where I am right now. But the other reason is that I can literally step forward and move beyond that because right now is temporary. Literally, the, the ground I stand on is temporary, but he is everlasting and he has a way for you that is beyond our understanding. 
So in this time, I pray that the fire of God will come upon you, but it's a refining fire. Sediment's gonna come up, remnants of the past, but God is going to take those. He's going to bind those. He's going to put those in the lake of fire, and he's going to resurrect and glorify himself and his kingdom in you. So allow yourself to be a habitation of the Lord. Allow him to do the good work in you and realize he's got a plan and a future for you, and it doesn't look like the way you've thought it looks. So Lord God, I just come to you right now and I ask that you bless every viewer of this, every person that hears this message, that you would bless them, that you would go before them. Lord God, that you would anoint them, that you would ordain things that come into their life, that you would order their steps. Lord God, I thank you. I thank you for this message. And this is a time of true deliverance, true resurrection, true recompense, and a new beginning. Walk in his footsteps and he will give you all that you need and require. May you be truly blessed, shalom upon you, a healthy year, but walk in his health. Be not of the world, be not conformed to the world, and that Lord would give you discernment between the two. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for he is with us and he has a mighty future for all of us in his kingdom. And his kingdom is now. It is here. Let us usher in that kingdom in every way, in every way. God bless you in Yeshua's name.